Hey folks, this is Vince with Dan's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to try Remnant Records. This is a game that you can find on Steam's Early Access program for about, uh, I think it was 15 bucks or so. Early Access means that everything that you're about to see is most definitely subject to change. What attracted me to this is that it had four-player co-op. You can play single-player too if you want. And it's like Phasmophobia in the sense that you're going to be investigating a place and trying to do stuff. Now, in this game, I don't know too much about what's going on, only that you're going to be encountering different ghost types. There's also different investigator classes, so different classes will have different powers, so that seems appealing to me. Oh, hi, Lily. How are you? Uh, we'll jump into settings real quick. I will say that compared to some of the other Phasmophobia-like games that I've played, uh, this one actually had a, has a settings menu that works. Uh, so I'm already impressed just by that. Uh, I, I have played multiple games recently where just the game is half, you know what, broken. This has a lot of settings to it. There's, uh, you can calibrate your microphone, change the microphone type. Um, Unity is what works for me. I don't know what the other one wouldn't work. Um, then there's microphone and single player, microphone and multiplayer. You can set it push to talk or open microphone if you want to. And then there's graphic settings here. Um, so yeah, there's this game actually has quite a bit of background already going into it, which is really nice. Um, so I guess let's just, uh, let's try it. I, I don't, I've never played it, so let's just try it. Uh, we'll hit play. If this is your first time playing, make sure to play the tutorial before. Okay, we'll, we'll do the tutorial. Let's, let's see how this goes. May want to turn this up because I want to hear stuff. I'll try not to talk so much. W S D to move around, C to crouch, T for flashlight. Even the tutorial tips are updated because I changed those keybinds. Hello, can you hear me? Let's get started with your training mission. An entity is haunting the place. One of our agents has placed a barrier to keep it from escaping. Your job is to go in and send the entity to the afterlife. To do this, you will have to understand what happened to it when it was still a human being. Let's get started, investigate the place, and try to find some clues. Right. Find notes left behind. Find objects that seem interesting. Uh, okay, so use objects by pressing E. Left click and swing to open doors. Ah, there we go. Some pull, some push, I see. You can turn on the lights, but too many at once, and the fuses will blow. And it looks like that's a fuse box there, if I had to guess. Left click interacts with that, awesome. The doors are going to take some getting used to, that's for sure. Pill bottle. That might be one of the items we need. I mean, I'm just going to start bringing everything into one central location. I don't know what we need and what we don't. Oh, look. What is this? It's some kind of board. I think this is the exorcism board. I'll just put it there. The door is locked. Find a key. All right, a little freaky. Light, please. Okay, so we have to find notes. Just turn that off. I want to keep the main hallways on if I can. I'm going to assume in, in this tutorial mission, things aren't as dire and the guy or the ghost can't kill you, but you never know. Looks like there's something here. And from my understanding, the investigation is randomized, so you'll you'll encounter notes sometimes. Oh, E. My dearest Amira, it feels like I've woken up from a bad dream, like the addiction was possessing me, but I'm done now. I'm never touching alcohol again. Give me another chance. Come back to... M okay, so it sounds like we'll be looking for items based on these notes. So uh, I wonder if alcohol then would be something I would need to find. Oh, is this alcohol? That, do I, it, that doesn't look like alcohol to me. It looks like more of a... Well, we'll put it here anyway. I don't know when we'll use it, but... 
kind of boarded up. Okay, we're not going that way. Oh. Get close to the fake ghost. <laughs> okay. Hi. It caught you. I like the tutorial. Left click to repeatedly free yourself. Okay, alright. Haha. -ha. Hope they didn't surprise you too much. Don't forget this technique when you face a real ghost. There's a key. So, can I use this key then to open up that locked door? Um, I have nobody left. My family doesn't want anything to do with me anymore. My wife doesn't answer my calls. Her portrait is still hanging in my bedroom and I can't stop looking at it. I'm tired of suffering. Okay, there are language. There's language in this game, but I, I'll just sort of skim past that. Um, that gun of mine has been in the collecting dust in the garage. Funny gun is okay. So we're we're understanding and learning about this person. It seems the fuse blew. Find the fuse box and the entrance to turn it back on. Okay. Yeah, apparently ghosts can grab you in this game. So when the fuse goes out, you hold an E, interact with it, and now I can do stuff again. Find a key. And use it to unlock the garage door. Well, there was a key here. Uh, the exorcism table can hold up to five objects, but don't try to cram as many objects as possible. Okay, once everything's ready, light up the candle depending on the color of the light. We'll know whether you've succeeded or not. Okay. If it fails, you have to wait for the candle to stop burning to try again. All right, so there's the key. So I have to actually physically click and drag and bring the key over to the locked door. Uh, if I can find it. Where was that? Is it? No, it wasn't there. I'll put it down here for now. I, I could have sworn there was a locked door somewhere. That might have been it there. Okay, uh, key. Uh, there it is. It blends in with that ground there. Okay. There we go. So you click, you just click and drag the key over to the door and it unlocks. Interesting. Swing open. There we go. Uh, there's blood on, oh, there's the gun, right? So we know that's a thing for sure. So if we, okay, there we go. So we are adding things to this exorcism table, right? Um, there's pills, but I don't know if that was... Let's, let's find the other clues first before we go, go nuts. There was something here. I just want to make sure that I read everything. Portrait. I don't think that's a thing. That gun. So you have to, like, read through these clues and figure out what items they're talking about. Interesting. This place is, uh, freaky. So it's one of those get, get to know the ghosts kind of things. And I'm going to assume that the notes are going to randomly change from mission to mission. So that it's not going to be the same thing every single time. Again, having never played, I, I'm only guessing. Um, again, this alcohol thing that they're talking about, I have to wonder if, like, this is alcohol. So maybe we should bring this over to it. Let's see if it actually works. It, it well, it's it's connected to it. Now, what about these pill bottles? What's with my bare knees? Okay. Um, are there any more notes? Okay, it looks like this tutorial house is pretty closed off. So we can try those two things. I don't see any more notes. All right. I've I found these pill bottles, but I don't know if all right, let's let's see if this works. Uh hold an E. Um that light is red, that means the objects you chose aren't good enough. Retry the exorcism with different objects until successful. Those circles that appear on the table indicate how appropriate the objects were. Red means bad, white means okay, and blue means very good. If everything's blue and it still fails, that means you're missing something. Oh, okay. Well, I wonder if these pill bottles... Wait for the candle to stop burning and try with a different set of objects. 
Let's think about this one more time. Well, we've... There was a mention, a mention of a portrait. Oh, I forgot about that. Did you notice anything in our target's room? Remember, we're looking for any object that could relate closely to their life. Uh, they seem to enjoy painting. Uh, did that mannequin just... What was that all about? That mannequin was on the ground kneeling or something? <laughs> Not cool. Okay. Uh, well, there's there's a painting here, but... Uh, Alright. Uh, maybe the paintbrush. Alright, let's try again. Still not good enough. There's a mention of a portrait. Okay, let's let's keep looking. <laughs> I s oh look, a real time mirror this time. Is that me? What's with the hat? Okay, so there's some kind of portrait that I need. Another room. Nothing seems to be in here. Yeah, this is cool. It's like trying... But can you imagine trying to do this? Oh, oh I can just take the entire portrait? <laughs> really? Okay, alright. Oh, okay. Complete the exorcism. Okay, the light's blue. That means you've succeeded. Now you have to finish the exorcism. You can either wait for time to tick, or explore around and find a way to accelerate. Okay. Every ghost will behave differently during the exorcism, and you'll have to use different ways to speed it up. Oh, good. During the exorcism, ghosts are especially dangerous. Stay on your toes. What could possibly happen? How do I speed up the... The exorcism. Oh, what's this? Hello? Oh, there we go. I picked up something. So I guess it depends on the ghost type. Creepy. The soul of the ghost has been chained. Now you just have to exercise it. Uh, I'm guessing. Hold E to exercise. Okay. And it's that easy. Interesting. Hey, I'm a good ghost hunter. You've completed the training mission. <laughs> Alright. Do not think that was enough to prepare you. Oh, great. Real ghosts won't let you do whatever you want like this fake one did. Oh, so easy, right? If they see you or hear anything, be it your voice or your footsteps, your life is in danger. Mm, lovely. Be careful out there. Head to the entrance to leave. Alright, so now we have a basic understanding of how to play. Again, from my understanding, there's different classes in this game. You're free to take on any contract, by yourself or with colleagues. So, create or join room. So I'll hit create. And here's a quick guide on how the room screen works. First, you must pick a role. Uh, each role has a unique appearance and unique abilities. Okay. Then you must pick a contract. You can choose between three contracts. Each contract is a randomly generated story you have to unravel. So there's the Eastwood House uh, Ghost Grade 2. It's unstable. Uh, investigation Grade Trainee. Eastwood House. Um, same one. Okay. So I'm just looking here. It looks like there's just different contracts. Same house, though? Okay. Okay. Um, next, if there's no contract you want, you can refresh the contracts list. 
Okay, you level up by playing missions. I can level up. Clicking on your level opens up the progression window. Unlocks a new difficulty grade for the contracts, okay? So you can unlock new content by leveling yourself up. The Exorcist Diary contains useful tips on the various ghosts you faced. Uh, you can buy more tips using vouchers you'll earn by leveling up. Here you can set up your room. Public room and open room. Well, I want to... All right. So public room is visible to open to anyone uh, in the room browser. An open room can be joined by other players. Okay, continue. Is there like a private room? You can send this code to your friends to get them to join you. Okay, upper left hand corner, there's a room code. Invite friends, upper right, okay. That's it. Okay, so uh, lots of things to click on. I don't want a public room and I don't want an open room. I want private stuff. Uh, region US settings, copy room code. The room is currently closed, so your friends won't be able to join. Make sure to set the room as... Okay, so open room, but not public. There we go. Alright, good to know. I'm glad the game actually tells you these things as you're trying to do it. Um, okay, so now what? Uh, room, and then contract? So, this har let's try this harmless one here. Okay. I, I wanted to pick a roll. I must have missed that. All right, let's go back, actually. Let's give up. Oh, <laughs> is that how you give up? You just fall over? Ah! Okay, um, let's go back. I, I want to change my character. Oh, I have to click on one there. So there's the Carto Cartomancer. Uh, is equipped with a set of mystical talismans. Each one of them has a specific use. Uh, can be put down on a surface using the R key and later retrieved by holding E. They can help with the investigation or with detecting or hindering the ghost. The medium uh, has a close relationship with the dead. They can sometimes hear, feel, or see things that others are blind to. As the medium, hold R to open your senses to the world of the dead. Electrician is equipped with the best flashlight on the market. They're also able to detect the fuse box easily in the dark and to turn it on or off faster. As the technician, R key to temporarily boost your flashlight power. Muscle head that can break down doors by charging into them. Their strength might also prove useful when they come face to face with the ghost. Okay, interesting classes. I kind of want to try the medium just to see what that's like. And if you go back to contract, uh, let's go to this investigation grade, newest hire, harmless start mission. Okay. That's cool. I, I like the fact that there are different classes and people can work together. All right, let's go in. Uh, if I can open the door. There's that there's that exorcism thing. Okay. Uh, I don't know what we're facing. Okay, so the, the power box is in here. There's a gun on the wall, probably for that, possibly. Oh, and there's, there's an upstairs. <laughs> oh, no. There's pill bottles. You know what? I'm just going to drop all of this stuff by the table, and then whenever we need it, we'll put it in there. That way, we don't have to go back and look for it. Uh, more pills, but I think we don't need two copies of the same thing. Yeah, see, there's no more note here. There's a coffee mug. Look at all this stuff. Okay, uh, what does this say? I'm going to the hospital today. Mom said I'm going to stay there for a while. Uh, I don't want to go, so I put my plane in my bag. Uh, okay, so this plane. I'm looking for a plane. It hurts. Uh, okay, I don't want to take the medicine anymore. It hurts. So maybe medicine and a plane? Uh, this might be medicine, this oil, like maybe... I wonder if that's more painting supplies than medicine. I'll bring it out anyway. Along with that coffee mug. I wish I could take the notes with me.
There's a lot more items now. Like, it's, it's you have to figure out which of these items are it. And I've yet to see this ghost. I have it on harmless. So maybe... Maybe it's going to be that mannequin again. Knock on wood. Okay, maybe I shouldn't bring it. I mean, there's so many items now. Oh, this is just a... Okay. All right. I hear growling. <laughs> I heard growling. That sounds great, guys. Uh, growling. I'm sure this is fine. Okay. Let's go this way. Ah. I wonder if that... Oh, that airplane. That's... We definitely need the airplane. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Okay. It's fine. It's totally fine. Yeah, medicine, pills, for sure. One. Not the gun. Okay, maybe upstairs. This is fine. This is fine. Oh my god! It's fine. It's totally fine. What, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it's fine. Okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go this way. Uh, it's fine. I'm trapped in here. I'm just gonna go upstairs. <laughs> I'm just gonna go upstairs. It's fine. He can't get me. I'm totally fine. It's good. Oh, the fuse went out. Damn it. Okay. Oh, it's locked. There's an ashtray. Suitcase. Uh, there's a key. I wonder if this key opens that door over here. It does. Why would you think the suitcase? I'm just curious. Um... Oh, I hear it. Oh, heck. <laughs> At least there's no sanity drain or anything from being in the dark, but... Are there no more notes? I'm looking for more, more notes and I don't see any yet. So maybe I activate the circle with those two objects? Oh, this is maddening. This is so maddening, I can barely see. I'm tempted to up my brightness a little bit so I can actually see what I'm doing, but... Canned food. Um, graphics. Is there a brightness? Gamma. Let's brighten it up. How's that? Is that better? Or is that cheating, do you think? I want you guys to be able to see what I'm seeing, you know. It's, I think it's better than before. Is it down here? 
Oh, okay. It's fine. It's completely fine. Um... <laughs> Did we see any more left? I want to I want to make sure it goes upstairs or something when I'm looking around down here. I don't want to get caught by surprise. I don't know what this thing does. I don't know what it's capable of. We got two objects. There's the, oh, the fuse box is here. Well, at least we can turn that back on. Okay. I still think the main hallways are a must. Oh, I hear it. I don't know where it- Oh, there it is! It's fine! It's growling. It doesn't like that. Go upstairs, please! Put some pants on while you're up there! Alright, I'm looking for more notes. I I only saw the two, so I'm tempted just to tr We could try it and see what happens. Okay, it's blue! Bell? What am I supposed to do? Bell! What was I supposed to- Okay. Am I supposed to connect the bells? Apparently I can take a hit and not die. Interesting. Oh, hell. Can it hear me? Is it following this? Am I leaving a trail for it to follow? Is that what this is? Am I supposed to complete this minigame or something? Where did it go? I'm looking for another bell. Supposedly, the exorcism will complete automatically on its own, right? So I could wait it out, but if I find this other bell, it'll go faster. Oh, I hear it. There it comes. If it comes... Ooh, okay, upstairs. It's not following me, it's fine. Oh, there's another bell! <laughs> I think it heard that! Oh my god, it's got- It just flew across the screen! It's fine! Oh! I'm exercising it!
Did I win? Yay! I beat it on the easiest difficulty setting. I like this one. Uh, compared to the other ones I've been playing lately, this one's good. Uh, go back to the entrance. Leaving in four, three. There we go. So let's see if what kind of rewards we get for this. Um, Emma Ray's has been exercised. Uh, you got two vouchers. You can use them to buy tips to use against ghosts in your exorcist diary. Uh, max exorcism di accuracy 75%? Does that mean I missed one? Okay. Not exactly sure what that means. You just leveled up. Every level you can unlock new content, maps, difficulty levels, and more. Click on your level to access and unlock your progression. Okay. So it looks like it's level 5 is the highest that you can go. Uh, so level 2 unlocks a new difficulty grade for contracts. You can now find contracts with a difficulty grade of up to 3. Okay. So there is a progression. There's a new map there. Unlocks an option to customize the difficulty of missions. So at level 5, you can actually customize your missions. That's cool. Unlocks a new difficulty grade. Unlocks a new map. Unlocks a new difficulty grade. Okay. I have a feeling I'll be playing on the easiest for a while. So the runner is a blind abomination that relies on its hearing. So the, the thing that we just faced was called a runner. And that is just... It, I guess it's just, it, it relies on hearing. So as long as I remain quiet, I guess it's like Deacon from, uh, from Forewarned, where you just have to kind of stay quiet. Uh, so we'll just buy a new tip. When the runner is close, do not make a sound, you think? Runner's breathing can be heard from far away. It can be used to locate them. Okay. Um, I want to try again. I want to try... Oh, I didn't even use the medium's ability. I'm an idiot. You know what? Let's try that again using the medium's ability. The tips are trash. Yeah, nothing more than I didn't already know. Um, oh my gosh. Newest tire, unstable. No, let's... I want 1-1, one, one, preferably. Harmless. Yeah, I want that one. Catherine Price. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Those tips are trash. Don't forget to breathe. So again, we're, we're in this house, and I gotta wonder what ghost this is. Alright, so if I hold an R... So, I've got some kind of psychic thing going on. It must be, like, upstairs in that one room. Cool. Uh, there's a fishing pole. I'll bring it outside anyway, just to have it. This is awful. <laughs> oh no. Still no notes. I'm guessing on the easiest difficulty there's only one or two notes that you have to find. Possibly one or two, three items. I wish it I wish it would tell you the maximum number that is possible on each difficulty. I think that would be cool. There is a note. Uh, Aisha and I went hunting. Uh, nothing beats the freedom of uh -huh, small boar. Uh, what am I going to do? Uh, I just killed someone. I was hunting. So I'm guessing some kind of rifle. I just ran away. I even left my car. 
Okay, so I I somehow I murdered someone. Well, at least the ghost did. Um, I need to find some kind of gun, some kind of hunting rifle. You might have to get this. I can see why. I mean, it does have an appeal. What about you, Pony? Is this something you would play? I think you would like the mastermind, like, aspect of this. Trying to figure out what items to, to get. I have not seen the ghost yet. Knock on wood. The rifle was there before. There's a fishing pole. <laughs> you like the investigation part? Oh my god! Boom! <laughs> What the fudge? <laughs> How did I sk It closed the door. I don't like this ghost. I like the other one better. Open! I'm looking for some kind of hunting rifle. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to scare your cat. It was not intentional. Hun, you're getting this. That's all, it, that's all there is to it. There's no note up here. I'm pretty sure it got me the one time. <sighs> Did anyone see a gun? Supposedly a hunting rifle something? I didn't see a gun anywhere. And that was the only note I saw. You're gonna be screaming, hon. I'm just, I'm just saying. You're gonna. <sighs> I have a feeling you're. I'm gonna hear <laughs> like on a regular basis coming from up there. No, it's fine. I, the note was more like a. Oh! Pop! Oh! No! that it had like a lady with a lantern I want out oh there's there's the rifle Is it going to let me leave? Oh! 
I guess I'm safe out here. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Um, I, it, what I don't like is that I, I can't, like... I want to read the prior notes. Apparently there's something up there. I guess I'll look again. I'm fine. I'm good. Getting close to whatever it is. Oh, hell. <laughs> Maybe I just don't look at it. I won't look at it. <sighs> okay. Okay, right, so it seems like this lady... When you hear footsteps, that means it's coming towards you. And so far, I've gotten past it by just not looking at it. So I wonder if it responds to that. Something in this room is something I need. I just don't know what. So there's definitely something here. I mean, there's an ashtray. There's a vase. What if I did that? It's t it's like something in this room needs my attention. Unless this is like the ghost room? I don't know. I don't know what... Oh my... Mm. Mm. <clears throat> Learn to interpret what you see in here. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> that doesn't help too much. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, there's... There's something here I'm missing. I just, I don't know what it is. What is she pissed about? There's a hook. There's a clock. None of these are interactable. Maybe if I just throw all these outside... Maybe I'm bound to find the object it wants me to find just by... I still don't know what it wants. Maybe there's a painting on the wall or... There's that. I heard footsteps. <laughs> okay, we're fine. There's there okay I'm I'm missing there's got to be something in here I'm missing I I just don't know what it is or what I'm supposed to get uh this painting can I take that oh I can let's see if that is anything huh 
What do you want me to do here? <laughs> I don't know. I don't see a note. All right. You know what? Let's just let's just move on. Maybe we'll find another note somewhere. That is so creepy. Maybe that is the ghost room. That could be it. You could never do the medium. Yeah, I'm a little worried that she would appear too. Punched a hole in the wall yesterday. I panicked and told her I was leaving if she didn't stop drinking. She held me and told me she was sorry. I was scared. It's her beloved coffee that'll kill her. At least she'll enjoy it. So... <sighs> coffee, maybe the mug and alcohol? Some sort of coffee mug and alcohol. I mean, you don't put coffee in a, a glass container. You put it in a mug. But it, it, like the, the book made reference to both coffee and drinking. But I don't know if that's a mistake on the developer's part or if that was intentional. Yeah, so I'm thinking coffee cup and some sort of alcohol bottle. Alright, so I, I'm thinking upstairs. There's the other book. <sighs> uh, what am I going to do? I just killed someone. A small boar. And let me bring it home. Hunting. Yes, yeah, so I think... I think the... My light went out for a second. <laughs> it's like, okay. Alright, so that means we have to go back upstairs and get the coffee mug. And the alcohol. I'm pretty sure this is alcohol. Alright, coffee mug, coffee mug, where would I be? I saw it somewhere, I just don't remember where. Ambience is so scary. <laughs> oh, man. 
I have to wonder if it's getting worse. Like, I wonder if I'm on a time limit. You hear it amplifying, right? Did you see the shadow behind me? There was a shadow behind me. It appeared and then disappeared. It walked up to me and then disappeared. Oh, wow. Okay. So as long as I don't look at it, I think I'm safe. <laughs> that was scary. I... Coffee mug, coffee mug, coffee mug, coffee mug, coffee mug. Naku. I don't know about this one. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to find the one item. It's like a seek and find on top of everything. There's that book. It's this ambience. Oh my god! Okay. Leave me alone. Yeah, I heard a clock too. Maybe there's a cup in here that I missed. I don't know. There's a lighter. There's another lighter there. Baked beans. There's olive oil. I don't see- I mean, this is for tea, not for coffee. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll just try it with what I've got. Maybe... What is that? Coffee beans! Okay, coffee beans. Okay, I think we're good. Never would have thought about that. <sighs> All right, let's just get this started, huh? We oh! What? What just happened? Oh! There's something there? Oh, that's her? I bet you that's her. It's moving. <laughs> it's downstairs. Maybe I'm supposed to hide? Oh, heck. 
I'm pretty sure that's the ghost. <laughs> I'm very sure. It's patrolling, I think. I don't know how to speed up this thing. It's downstairs. Okay. Yeah. Flashlight off. Maddening. <laughs> okay, what she went away. Oh, she's coming back. So it's like hide and seek? Here the clock is ticking in the background. I bet you I just have to outlast this thing. Hide, it's hide and seek. Could you imagine open microphones? People would be dead quiet. She's downstairs. Got it. Gotta get downstairs and release it. Phooey! Easiest difficulty. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, that's fun. Okay. I can't wait to try out the other uh, abilities. I got two vouchers. Okay. Um, diary. Let's do the. Sh it's the Shusher. That's her name. The Shusher. The Shusher is a ghost that likes to wander around invisible. If you know a Shusher is behind you, do not look back and keep moving, okay? I, I kind of figured that out on my own. Um, the Shusher is a trickster that likes to play games with its victims. If it's not too angry, it may appear just to scare them. Okay. Yeah, I like the fact that you learn more about the ghosts as you go. And there's two other types that we haven't seen yet. So what do you think, guys? Um, should I take a break or should I keep going? You plan on getting this yourselves and you want to experience stuff together? What's the verdict? You like it. Okay. I figured you did. It's downloading. <laughs> All right. I guess I better get the game for Nev2 then. Um, I'm going to take a brief stream break, but um, I have a feeling we'll be back soon. 
So if you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube, that way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.